Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of exponents and radicals, we shall take up solved questions related to laws of exponents. In our previous video, we have already discussed these laws in detail. Let us just recapitulate them one by one. The first law is product of powers which says x raised to power a into x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a plus b. That means whenever the two exponents are multiplied, we add the powers. The second law is quotient of powers which says x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a minus b. So whenever we have to divide the exponents, we subtract the powers. Now the third law is power of power that is x raised to power a and whole raised to power b is equal to x raised to power ab. That means we multiply the powers. The fourth law is power of product that means when we have two pro numbers multiplied together and raised to power a, we distribute a between them like x, x into y raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a into y raised to power a. Now, fifth law is power of quotient. It is x upon y raised to power a is equal to x raised to power a upon y raised to power a. Now, the sixth law is negative exponent which says x raised to power minus m by n is equal to 1 upon x raised to power m by n. So, if we have to convert the negative exponent into positive, we just have to reciprocate the base. Now we come to the seventh law that is identity exponent which is x raised to power 1 is equal to x. That means whenever any number is raised to power 1, it is the number itself. Now eighth law is zero exponent that is x raised to power 0 is equal to 1 which says that any number raised to power 0 is 1. Now let us start with solved questions which are based on laws of exponents. The first question is x raised to power half into x raised to power 5 by 2 is equal to x raised to power 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 which is equal to x raised to power 6 by 2 is equal to x cube. Now here we have applied law 1 that is product of powers which says whenever the two exponents are multiplied we add the powers. Now question number 2 x raised to power 6 by 5 upon x raised to power 1 by 5. Further, we will solve, we will write x raised to power 6 by 5 minus 1 by 5, which is equal to x raised to power 5 by 5 is equal to x raised to power 1 is equal to x. Now, here we have applied law 2, which is quotient of powers. Whenever the two exponents are divided, we have to subtract the powers. Now, let us move to question number 3. Here x raised to power 7 and whole raised to power 0. Now whenever we have inside outside that is power of power we multiply both the both the powers. So we have written x raised to power 7 into 0 which is equal to x raised to power 0 which is equal to 1. Now over here x raised to power 0 is 1 according to the 0 exponent that is log 8th. Now we shall move to 6th question. It is given 5 into x raised to power 5 by 6 into 6 into x raised to power 1 by 6. Now over here we will make groups. We will take coefficient 5 and 6 together and the variables of x uh, together in another bracket. So we shall write 5 into 6 into x raised to power 5 by 6 into x raised to power 1 by 6. Now we shall apply the first law which is, which is a product of powers and it says that whenever the two exponents are multiplied, we have to add the powers. So we will write 30, 5 into 6 is 30. So we'll write 30 into x raised to power 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6, which is equal to 30 into x raised to power 6 by 6, which is equal to 30x. Now we shall move to fifth question. It is x raised to power minus 7 by 2 into 2 into x raised to power minus 1 by 2. Now again we will make separate groups of coefficient and the variable. We will write 1 into 2 in one bracket and x raised to power minus 7 by 2 into x raised to power minus 1 by 2 in another bracket. Now we shall apply the first law that is the product of powers and we will add the powers. 
we will write 2 into x raised to power minus 7 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 into x raised to power minus 8 by 2 which is equal to 2 into x raised to power minus 4. Now this minus 4 is a negative exponent so we shall make it positive by just reciprocating the base. So we shall write 2 upon x raised to power 4. Here we have applied the sixth law that is the negative exponent. Now we shall take the sixth question which is 27 raised to power 6 by 5 divided by 27 raised to power 1 by 5. Now we will apply the second law which is quotient of powers which says whenever the two exponents are divided we subtract the powers. So accordingly we will write 27 raised to power 6 by 5 minus 1 by 5 which is equal to 27 raised to power 5 by 5 which is equal to 27 raised to power 1 which is equal to the number itself that is 27. Now we shall take up seventh question. It is given 2 into 27 raised to power minus 2 by 3. Now 27 is 3 cube. So we shall write 2 into 3 cube into minus 2 by 3. Now 3 and 3 will get cancelled and we are left with 2 into 3 raised to power minus 2. Now 3 raised to power minus 2 is a negative exponent so we shall apply 6th law and make it positive exponent by just reciprocating the base. So we shall write 2 upon 3 square which is equal to 2 by 9. Now let's take up 8th question which is given 2 into 9 raised to power 3 by 2 into 9 raised to power minus half. Now 9 is 3 square. So we shall write 2 into 3 square and whole raised to power 3 by 2 into 3 square and whole raised to power minus half. Now we shall apply the third law that is power of power which says whenever we have two powers one inside and outside we multiply the powers. So accordingly we will write 2 into 3 square into 3 by 2 into 3 square into minus half. Now 2 and 2 will get cancelled in both the brackets and we will write 2 into 3 cube into 3 raised to power minus 1. Now we shall apply first law which is product of powers and we will add the powers over here. We will write 2 into 3 raised to power 3 plus in bracket minus 1 which is equal to 2 into 3 square which is equal to 2 into 9 equal to 18. So this is how we have solved few questions related to laws of exponents. Hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.